Welcome, and hello everyone, we're going to look at the project example, so, in this example, we're going to be taking the design on the left, and creating the finished product on the right, and as you can see, this is just, some simple text, carved into a piece of wood. The first thing you want to do, is measure the material, that you plan to use for the project, Veto need to know the width, the height, and the thickness of the material, the width is 24 inches, and the height is 18 inches, and the thickness will be 0.75 inches. Now, let's open VayCarve Pro, and set up the job. The zero position will be on the surface, the lower left corner for the Xydatum position, then click OK. The first thing I'd like to do, is save the project. I'm going to add some text, so, what you want to do, is select the draw text. Enter some custom text, I will write the word men, this will be a sign for restaurant, then, we're going to choose a font style, we'll set the size to 4 inches, then click close. Now, we want to add a frame to our project, in the library folders, 2D vectors, choose panel 17, drage it on the 2D diggin, size it in center. We want to add modeling profiles, click on modeling profiles, and choose modeling 3. Now we want to add arrow, that is up to you, you can design it, or import it, I will import it, from my computer, size it, and put it under the text and in the middle. And then this is what your project should look like, so now our design is finished, we're going to save our progress before we go any further. Now, we're going to set up the V-Carving toolpath. Click on V-Carve. Select the vectors you want to carve, we select the text in the arrow, on the cutting depths, set the start depths to 0, and check the flat depth box, then set it, to 0.1 inch 
For the tools choose they bit 60 degree, check the clearance box then. Select end mill bit, 0.125 inch, then choose offset, name the file, then click, calculate. Now we want to carve the frame on the toolpaths, click on molding toolpath, we have two vectors, the frame vector, and the molding profile vector, first, select the frame vector, then select the profile vector, choose the ball nose bit 0.25 inch, then, click calculate. Now we want to cut the frame, on the toolpaths, choose 2D profile, on the cutting depths, set the start depth to 0, and the cut depth to 0.75 inch, for the tools, choose 0.25 inch and mill, for machine vectors, choose outside, in the box, allowance offset, set it to 0.5 inch, for secure the material, on the CNC, check the box, add tabs, then add ramp, after that click calculate. Now, click preview toolpaths, preview all toolpaths, you can also, use your mouse, on the screen to rotate pan or zoom interview, on the 3D preview. As well as, check the estimated time, Now, we're going to go over to saving the G-code, click on save toolpath, every machine has different setting, choose your machine post processor, do not follow me in this setting, you have to use your setting to send the G-code to your CNC machine, then after that click on save toolpath, save it in file you just created, this file will be sent to CNC. Next video we will show you real time carve and set up CNC machine, we will work on sanding and paint wood and finish it, thanks for watching. For more training, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel.